Let us talk about how linked lists are organized in memory in this video. Now before we go ahead, let us see how arrays are allocated in memory. Well, arrays are allocated continuously. When you declare an array, the compiler allocates a block of memory corresponding to the size of the array. In this case, the array is of characters and it has six elements. So it will have six elements in the memory and the elements would be placed side by side. That means there is a continuous allocation of elements. So in this case, the address of the first element is 1000, the next would be 1001, 2, 3 and so on. In contrast, the elements of a linked list are not allocated continuously, they are allocated randomly. Now the process of creating a linked list is a bit different. You have to create a node and then link that node to the linked list. So for example, in this case, if I create a node, it is allocated somewhere in the memory wherever there is free space and then it will have a link to the next node. Now, when I create another node, it will get created in another memory location. Again, the location of this node would be arbitrary. It would be chosen randomly based on wherever there is free space available. And then it would be linked to the previous node. Again, the same happens with the next node. Now we know that a linked lists node has two parts. One is data part and another is the linked part. What does the linked part store? Well, it stores the address of the next node. That is why we say that the link part points to the next node in the list. So the first node contains two parts. First part is the data part, which stores five in this case. And the second part stores the address of the next node. The same is the case with the second node where the data part contains nine and the address part or the link part contains the address of the next node and the last node stores the number three and since this is the last node it wouldn't point to any other node that is why it points to null and then as we need something to access the first node we have another pointer where we call it head which stores the address of the first node so if you have to go to the second node you first go to the first node then check the link part from that link jump to the second node and then you are in the second node. So to summarize in a linked list nodes are randomly allocated and they are linked to form a sequence. Now you might be wondering how do we represent a node of a linked list in a programming language. So I'll give you an example of C language. A node in a C language can be represented using a structure. So the first variable is the data part and the next variable is the pointer to the next node. This variable next stores the address of the next node. So this was a little bit about how we organize a linked list in a memory. In the next coming videos, we will see how do we perform different operations on a linked list.